Okay, guys, a bit of a different video today. I'm going to go through where my favorite page on Wikipedia, and it's the, the list of unusual deaths. It includes unique or extremely rare circumstances of death recorded throughout history, noted as being unusual by multiple sources. So, this list gets um, quite entertaining. A lot of it, obviously some of it, you know, not so entertaining, but here we go. For instance, you've got the death of Asclepius. Aschle 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 I don't know. Killed by a tortoise dropped onto his head by an eagle or a vulture. And there's a picture of it there. Obviously, not a photograph. Uh, we've got some fun ones. Um, Anacreon, a poet known for works in celebration of wine, choked to death on a grape stone. There you go. Um... Uh, the the old ones, obviously, um, a bit more, a bit more apocryphal. Uh, that one, Christian Bishop suffered a stroke, which was provoked by yelling at foreign envoys in anger. Oh dear, Valentinian. What have we got? Louis the Third, King of West Francia, died around eighteen. Died aged around eighteen. Sorry, at Saint Denis while mounting his horse to pursue a girl who was running to seek refuge in her father's house. What? He hit his head on the lintel of a low door and fell, fracturing his skull. Why was he... Why was he mounting... Why was he running after a girl? Control the... I've got to know, but we can't... We can't... We can't diverge. I've opened that page. Died of stomach disease by... Caused by eating... No, that's not very good. Died while riding through Paris when his horse tripped over a black pig running out of a dung heap. The Crown Prince Philip of France. Oh dear. Cut himself with a poisoned arrow during a boar hunt and subsequently died from an infection. Ooh, rolled up on a rug and then trampled by horses. Al Mustasim. John of Bohemia, after being blind for, te blind for ten years, died in the Battle of Cressy, uh, when at his command his companions tied their horses' reins to his own and charged. He was slaughtered in the ensuing fight. Why? What? Why would he charge into battle if he's blind? I mean, everyone everyone tied their horses' reins. I, mm, that's bizarre. Martin of Aragon died from a combination of indigestion and uncontrollable laughing. According to tradition, Martin was suffering from indigestion on account of eating an entire goose when his favourite jester, Bora, entered the king's bedroom. When Martin asked Bora where he'd been, the jester replied with, Out of the next vineyard, where I saw a young deer hanging by his tail from a tree, as if someone had so punished him for stealing figs. <laughs> the joke caused the king to die from laughter. Wow. I presume that could have been a heart attack or something. Uh, we're getting more more um, forward in time now. We get better and better, in my opinion. Um, George Plantagenet, first Duke of Clarence, was allegedly executed by drowning in a barrel of Malmsey wine. Apparently his own choice once he accepted he was to be killed. Drowning in wine. Goodness. Bladder of Kidney. No, don't like that one that much. Beard was, oh Hans Steininger, not reading that. Died when he broke his neck by tripping over his own beard. The beard, which was four point five feet long at the time, was unusually kept up rolled in a leather, usually kept up rolled in a leather pouch. So he trips over his beard. I'm as a picture of his big stupid long beard. Beautiful, early modern. Alcohol intoxication in a drinking contest. There we go. Got that one. I holy shit. That's really hard to say. I'm not gonna read that. Uh four year old British lightkeeper. Henry Hall, a ninety four year old British lighthouse keeper, died several times at days after fighting a fire at Rudyard's Tower, during which the molten lead from the roof fell down his throat. His autopsy revealed that the dia oh, dia the fuck me diaphragmatic upper mouth of the stomach greatly inflamed and ulcerated, and the tuncia in the lower part of the stomach burnt, and from a great cavity it, of it, it took out a great piece of lead which weighed exactly 7 ounces, 5 drachms, 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 and 18 grains. 
This piece of lead is currently on collection at the National Museum of Scotland. I've been to that museum. I don't remember seeing the lead. Okay. Ooh, Governor Morris died from an infection after using a whalebone to clear a blockage in his urinary tract. So he stuck a whalebone up his penis. And he was like, he was like, guys, that would be a disgust look. Says, guys, I promise you, I'm just I have an infection. This isn't what it looks like. 1816, they haven't heard of sounding yet. This one's good. After seeing a circus knife swallower, Cummings began, this is John Cummings, sorry, began actually swallowing knives. On one occasion, he swallowed four knives and quickly passed three with no ill health. He finally swallowed 20 knives in a clasp knife case, but after a few days, he'd only passed the case. He died after four years in pain. So this dude, he goes to a circus and sees a knife swallower and he decides, I can do that. So he, he swallowed 20 knives and he for four years in pain and on a, a knife blade and spring were found in his intestines. Why would you? I don't even know if, yeah, well. Ooh, Archduchess Matilda of Austria set her dress on fire while trying to hide a cigarette from her father who had forbidden her to smoke. And there's a picture of her. We've got, we've come to a photograph period. What? Alan Pinkerton. The founder of a Pinkerton detective agency tripped on the pavement and severely bit his tongue, which became infected with gangrene. He died because he bit his tongue. Henry Taylor, a pallbearer, at, I think the pallbearers are the ones that carry the coffins, at Kensal Green Cemetery in London, was crushed by the coffin he was helping carry after he tripped on a stone. The widow of the man in it, the widow of the man in it, reportedly nearly went into hysterics, I assume, but wasn't laughing. Why would no one just take the coffin off him? Was he old? Maybe he was old. At around 8.30pm, a shower of meteorites fell like rain on a village in Sulaimania, Iraq, then part of the Ottoman Empire. One man died and another man was paralysed. This man's death is considered the only credible case of death by meteorite. Holy shit. you got to be unlucky to have a meteorite land on your head, I presume. Empress Elizabeth of Austria. That's 1898, so we're getting we're getting quite close. I mean, an assassin stabbed Elizabeth with a thin file which pierced her pericardium and a lung. Pericardium, let's have a look. Um, of a heart wall and a lung. Because of an extremely tight corset held the wound close, she did not realise what had happened, believing a passerby had struck her and walked on for some time before collapsing. Ugh. We all know about Rasputin. He's over there. An unnamed person was beaten to death with a Bible during a healing ceremony gone wrong in Honolulu. He was being treated for malaria when his family summoned a kahuna who decided he was possessed by devils and tried to exorcise the demons. The kahuna was then charged with manslaughter. Wow. While taking... <laughs> 1904. Benjamin Taylor, a bell. A bell end. While taking his habitual shortcut to the Canadian Mining Review offices for an adjacent store, Canadian journalist Benjamin Taylor A. Bell walked through the wrong door in the store and fell 10 feet down an elevator shaft. It's getting to a point where I can't laugh at these now because they're, <laughs> they're getting more modern. Uh, ooh, drowning in six inches of water. Apparently having fallen while the seizure. Well, that's not that funny. King Alexander of Greece, 27, died of sepsis after being bitten by a palace steward's pet. Barbary McCure. Oh, it's a monkey thing. It's a margot, like a... Is a monkey, an ape, it's that thing, in his garden while trying to break up a fight between his German shepherd and another monkey. So King Alexander of Greece, and we've got, again, a photograph of this fella. If we go there, you can see him in all his glory. Sepsis. Wow. Frank Hoys, a jockey of Elmer, New York, died of a heart attack mid-race and collapsed on the horse, which nonetheless crossed the finish line first. So he won the race, but he died. Before he could win, wow. I wonder if um, you get your payout for that. Um, Thornton Jones, what? A lawyer in Bangor, not saying it, Wales, woke up to find that he had his throat slit. Motioning for a paper and pencil, he wrote, I dreamt that I had done it. I awoke to find it true and died 80 minutes later. He had done it himself while unconscious. What the fuck? That is the creepiest one here. 
he had a dream or something that he slit his own throat and he woke up and he'd done it. Wow. That's creepy. Ooh, this one's nasty. Isadora Duncan, an American dancer, broke her neck in nice Nice, sorry. When her long scarf became entangled in the open spoke wheel and rear axle of the Amilcar CGSS automobile which she was riding. <sighs> Broke her own neck and that's the car. Ooh, that's nasty. Died of peritonitis after accidentally swallowing a toothpick. Is the localized adrenaline line of, you know, some main clues of air pain? Ooh, that sounds nasty. Thomas Mantell, <clears throat> the pilot of a P-51 Mustang fighter plane, crashed while in pursuit of an unidentified flying object near the town of Franklin, Kentucky, thus becoming the first person to have died as a result of a UFC sight UFO sighting. UFC. Officially, the object remains unidentified, although the most likely explanation is that it was a US Navy Skyhook balloon. Huh. Gareth Jones, an actor, died of a heart attack between scenes of a live television play. Underground on the ITV network in the UK. What? All the members of the cast then improvised lines such as, I'm sure if so and so were here, he would say, compensate for his absence. So he just carried on going. Coincidentally, his character was supposed to die of a heart attack in a later scene of the play. That is messed up. So this guy's died in the, on TV. And rather than be like, oh, sorry guys, um, we've had a medical emergency, we're going to. Stop this broadcast. They're just like, oh, we'll, we'll improvise. Wow. It's kind of four months. Nick Pian... Pian... Oh, fuck me. Why do everyone have hard names? Pian... Pian Tanida, a skydiver, died four months after an attempt to break the record for the highest parachute jump near Joe Foss Field. I don't care where it is. His shoot had, shoot had depressurized, causing brain damage from lack of oxygen. I didn't know. Wasn't there? There was that Felix Baumgartner guy. He jumped from a really high plane on a parachute or something. I guess he needed a special suit. Basil Brown, a health food advocate from Croydon, England. That's not far from me. Died from liver damage as he consumed 70 million units of vitamin A. What? Around 10 US gallons, 38 litres of carrot juice over 10 days, turning his skin bright yellow. Ooh. After watching the Kung Fu Capers episode of The Goodies, Alex Mitchell laughed continuously for 25 minutes. That must be a good. <laughs> and then fell dead in the sofa from heart failure due to what doctors discovered years later via his granddaughter was a genetic condition called Long QT Syndrome. What? Oh, goodness. So I guess your heart beats really. And that can, things can. Um... Oh, the guy that was uh, assassinated with a pellet containing rice in from an umbrella. Fired from an umbrella, a special umbrella. But everyone, I'm sure you might have heard of one. That's a good one. Ooh. Ooh, that one's nasty. Walking upstairs while carrying a pirate's glass when she tripped, broke it, and fell on the shards, cutting her neck artery. Oh, that's something very unlucky. A Ukrainian-American film director died while shooting the TV series, uh, miniseries, World War Three in Portland, Oregon. After he walked into the tail of rotor blades of a helicopter, was partially, almost partially decapitated. Ouch. Okay, interesting. Uh, Jemmy Ferren Ferrezo, Fer 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 Ferrozo, a bouncer at the Condor Club in San Francisco, died while engaging in sexual intercourse with his girlfriend Teresa Hill on a grand piano, but was lowered from the ceiling by a hydraulic motor. He accidentally. Oh my God. He accidentally activated the lifting mechanism, which pinned him against the ceiling, leading to his suffocation. He'll survive the accident. Whoa. Well, now you know. Don't have a sex on top of a piano in, in a club. Why would you? Oof. Wow. Russian roulette. That's uh, Christopher by a hatch and resolve robbing telescope. Ooh. Crystal F is kind of a nastiest one, I think. There's some... Um, Veteran skydiver was filming a jump by an instructor and student from the Franklin County Sports Parachute Center where he jumped from a plane without a parachute. Focused on the filming process, he apparently forgot to put one on and his camera equipment may have been mistaken for one. The tape was recovered. Holy fuck. 
can you imagine when you're going through the air and then you realise, have I forgot something? Michael Godwin, a convicted, a criminal convicted of murder, was initially given death sentence by electrocution before being reduced to life imprisonment. Godwin died from electrocution when he bit into wires while attempting to fix a broken television set at the same time sitting on a metal toilet in the prison cell. Oh, goodness. I wonder what country he was in. It doesn't tell me. Well, I suppose it's probably America for 1989 electrocution. But yeah, the Brendan Lee the guy from The Crow. I've seen that film. He died. Ooh, Mark Gleason, 26, from Hampshire. Attempted to claw, cure his snoring by inserting tampons into his nostrils. He died from suffocation with sweet sleeping pills, adding to his breathing difficulties. Wow. Excuse me? Alberto Fargo of Lisbon, Portugal, died from falling out of a five-story window whilst performing a tango. According to witnesses, Fargo was demonstrating to students how to keep their head high by looking at the ceiling and failed to notice the open window behind beside it. Holy fuck. A freak guarding accident. John Lewis, 64, a businessman from Minsterworth, England, died during a freak gardening accident. He attempts to light a bonfire with gasoline, but it inadvertently set his clothes on fire. He then ran to a nearby river, jumped in, and eventually drowned, with his body not being found until the light of 30th April 1999, after over two weeks after the incident. Wait, what? He wanted to... Oh, goodness. It's not really a gardening accident, though. It's a bonfire accident. Um, I don't know if this was... An English DJ... Well, 1999 was a front seat passenger of a car on the M3 behind the van which dislodged a cat's eye the steel body flew through the windscreen oh goodness bad is a nasty one oof okay we're getting into the 2000s now oh after a spare wheel from an oncoming cement truck in the opposite stretch of the freeway broke loose and struck the cab of his Toyota Tacoma died after touching an African snail I've definitely touched those too. Ooh, a six-year-old. Oh, that's nasty. Died during an MRI scan after an oxygen tank was magnetically pulled into the machine and fractured his skull. <gasps> I guess that's why we don't let metal in the rooms. Maybe that was a rule after that. 2001. I think they were still quite early in 2001, the MRI scans. Yeah, Steve Owen. Of course he's on here. Yep, Kenneth Pinion died from anal injuries caused by anal sex with a stallion, otherwise known as Mr. Hans. Oh, um, was accidentally. You didn't see anything. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. Poisoning with polonium, 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 polonium. Ooh, what the fuck? David Fayol, 50, the last resident of a block of flats, decapitated itself with a chainsaw to highlight the injustice of being forced to move out of it. Dude, just move out. Killed by a falling Taco Bell sign. Oof, okay. I think um, I'm not going to read the really recent ones because it's a bit, is it insensitive? I don't know. But uh, here we have it. We have the list of unusual deaths on Wikipedia. Hope you enjoyed that.